Hi guys, this time uh, we need to discuss about the data types in PHP. So I know that you're familiar with this one already because we already tackled this one in our previous course. But this time um, we are learning data types using a different language which is PHP or a different scripting language which is PHP. Okay, first of course we need to discuss about integers. So if we will talk about integers, integers are basically whole numbers without any decimal point. So a good example for this one, it's 4,195. Okay, so based on my example here, I have two variables, int underscore var, which is the first variable uh, because of the dollar sign. And I also have another underscore int, it's another variable because of this dollar sign again each variable has its own value okay I will also show you uh, an example one moment okay data types mm -hmm. one moment I will just copy this one create a new one here okay so right now um, I will be creating one moment let me go to view and the appearance I'm um, zoom in should be like that okay there so for the um, for the integer again aside from um, it will not uh, it's actually a whole number and it doesn't have any decimal point um the rules for integer it should be uh, it, it can be a positive or a negative number then um, an integer must not contain decimal point that's what i mentioned earlier integer can be um, um decimal which is when you say decimal um that's actually base 10. Uh, i know the fact that i already discussed that one in your tle 7 when you say base 10 that's actually decimal that's what you can see right now from 1 to 10 without any points or decimal places right um, it also accept um, base 8 or octal and also hexadecimal okay the range of the integer must be lie between um, of actually uh, from this range to be honest um, the integer contains a very um, wide range of um, of numbers okay I'll just show you an example on the screen right now so I'll be creating um, three variables so the variable one or the variable num underscore one um, the purpose of this one it's to um, get an integer um, 34 or it's not get um, initialize um, uh, initialize the value 34 to num underscore 1. Another variable, we have num underscore 2. Um, it has um, 0, 2, 4, 3, for example. Variable 3, we have, it contains um, 0, x, 4, 5. Okay? So, basically, you'll notice that the num1 it's a decimal number the num2 it's actually an octal number and the um, num3 it's a hexadecimal number right so let me try um echoing it so again um in displaying if we will um, um if we will you um if we will compare um alert or document that right from our JavaScript scripting, um, here in PHP we have echo and we also have print. Okay, so for example, this is a decimal number, and I'll be calling. So in calling the value, all you need to do is put dot. I know that in JavaScript we use plus, right? And I know that in the plus sign before we had 
uh, we encountered issues because the plus it's not only for calling a value or um, calling an integer or any value or any sorry calling a variable but also um, it's an arithmetic operator but here all you need to do is to put dot then a dollar sign you need to call the value I call the variable which is num underscore one then dot again for example I'll put br and don't forget the semicolon so let do let me do it again I'll just copy and paste it for this one this is an octal number then I will change this to num2 another one this is a hexa decimal and I will change this one to num3 so I need to save this one moment and I need to save this one in the in the HD docs just one moment mm -hmm. okay integer dot PHP okay but before that I need to Okay, don't worry, you will not see my password. Okay. One moment. Don't worry because all of these files that I used here, I will be um, attaching it as well in the Google Drive. Um, I wanted to use GitHub, but again, it's another installation for you. So I will just rely on the Google Drive na lang. Sa for now. see if it's running okay it's running already okay so localhost no that's the page but that's the database part mm, okay there so integer okay there you go so the decimal number it displayed the same number which is uh, actually it displayed the same value from our code let me Access one moment localhost there. Okay, it displayed the same value for the octal number. It displayed the different one because we need to convert this one, right? So also for hexadecimal, it converted to a different value this value um, is now 69 okay okay so that's for the integer so let's proceed in discussing um one moment doubles so for the doubles or for the float um doubles are actually a floating point numbers meaning it contains a um a um, it contains a decimal points okay so i will show you directly a good example aside from showing you this example right now on the screen basically you're um, you're adding the value of the variable many and variable many underscore two and i use print uh, i use print here so let me show you a good example for this one oh actually i use already here double so um, aside from using that, I'll just go ahead and comment this one. One moment. There. So that you can use this one later on. Okay. One moment. Okay. I will create um, two, val uh, two variables again. So num1. I'm really... Okay next num2 for example we have 67.91 like that one or let's make it like that okay next um, I'll be creating a variable add uh, the purpose of this add variable it's to of course to add num1 plus num2 okay next I need to 
use echo in sum of the two values is let me call the value of add so dot add then semicolon okay let me save that after saving it let me go to this one okay uh, i need to still use the doubles there you go so it's working right so that's for the doubles um, um, doubles example or a float example in integer okay let's proceed so since we're done with the two types of data type uh, we will proceed to boolean so i know the fact that we've been using boolean because of the decision control structure um, and basically it has two possible values or outputs um, true or false okay so true it's one false it's zero okay i will show you this one okay so if true one moment okay one moment i think okay i'll be creating a new one na lang. okay this is for boolean i will save this first boolean dot php okay here so uh, i'll be creating um uh, base it here if true then don't forget that uh, i'll use print na lang for now oh, there so for the print um this condition is true next else oh okay print this condition is false there you go so basically for this one wait for a while Or I'll create a new one here na lang. So if false, there. There you go. Mm -hmm. So I forgot to put the, there you go. So I forgot to put the cur uh, ending curly brace. So let me go back and look for boolean. Okay. So this condition is true. It display this one. Okay? So for example, um, another, um, another example. Um, let me go val1 equals 45. Um, val2 equals 36. Here. Um, val3. Mm, 45 or val 1 plus we will add um, 11 okay let's see so if um, if val 2 is equal to Sorry, I have two val2 here, so it should be val3. Um, if val2 is equivalent to... Sorry. Um, val3, what it will do? So first thing... Um, um, we need to, for now, I will use echo. Uh-huh dot oh, sorry i need to call um, val2 dot is equal to is equal to val3 period 
There you go. If not, of course, basically this is true. If not, it will go directly here in the else. Then inside the else, we have another if. Mm, okay, this is actually a decision, uh, decision control structure that I'm currently making. Uh, so if val1 is greater than um, val2, it will print, or let me say echo, uh, one moment, val1 for example, it's 45, okay, we need to put val2 is, oh, sorry, val1 period, okay, the purpose of period, it's for concatenation, aside from the concatenation, it will call the value, okay, so val1, which is 45, is sorry is not is less than sorry is less than I'll call val 2 there you go then else I'll go directly to the else no lang else val2 is greater greater than val1 okay so let me run the program let me go back to refresh it boolean so 56 is equal to 56 because again um, this is working, right? So it will not run the else. What if I will change um, this one to 57? Oh, one moment. I will change this one to 50. No, 59. Na okay, 59. So let me refresh it. So 59? No. 59 is less than no. Uh, because I did not use something like this here. So it's okay. So I'll put 15. Okay. 50. Refresh, refresh. Boolean. Okay. 56 is greater than 50. Yes, correct. There you go. Or I'll just need to create another else if na lang here. Para sure good. So, um, the purpose here is for greater than. So, um, val 2. 2. It's greater than val, um, val 1. It's greater than val 1. So, okay. There. Let me save it. Go back. Okay, so again, 56 is greater than 50. It went here. No, 56 is greater than 20. Ah, there. 56 is greater than 50. There, it, which is about 2. What if I will change this one to 89? Let me go back and refresh it. Boolean. There, 89? No. 89... 89 here is greater than there. There. Then the else. Okay, one moment. Val 1 is less than val 2 okay okay so 89 is greater than 56 correct so how about if output 100 
I'll put 100 for boolean. There, 100 is equal to 100. Why? Ah, yeah. Sorry, because of this one. <laughs> so, it's working here. And also, these structure. Okay, so much for that for the boolean part. And let's proceed to the null. So, for the null, basically, the purpose of this one is to... Um, your value, um, the, con um, the value or your value, it's actually zero. By the word itself, null, wala. Okay? So, for the strings. So, for the strings, this is actually very easy. Um, all we need to do with this one, I will just go directly and give you uh, an example. So, I show, I have a good example here. So, this is basically the same as here in the presentation but I will also give you another example so let me put that this one as a comment so that you will have more examples so for example my company I will create a variable name this my business then the name of my business again if it's a, a string uh, make sure that it should be enclosed in double quotation. Okay, so my business is, for example, um, pet shop. For example, ha, pet shop. Okay, here. So I will go ahead and use echo, then um, hello company. I'm sorry, hello my business. There, then semicolon. Okay, after that, or I'll just go ahead and put br here. After that, um, echo. I'll go ahead and put um, one single quotation. So the purpose of the one single quotation it's for you will see this here. It will basically display only the variable name but not the value which is pet shop okay so let me save it after saving it let me go to the strings 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 ah, it's in the bottom part there so here for the first line of code um e echo I'm sorry, the line 14, echo, hello, my business. Um, the my business value here, we call the business value, the my business value, which is pet shop. Then here, you only call the, um, um, the variable name, which is my business. Okay? So that's actually the difference between the single and the double quotation. Okay? Also, um, please... Don't forget that we also have um, NL2BR. So for the NL2BR, the purpose of this one, it's, this is actually for the new line. Okay, new line or basically we are um, doing the, uh, we are doing the, uh, the BR here. This is actually the same. But if you want, um, you can actually use the NL2BR, but make sure that you are um, putting the slash n okay aside from that one let me go back to the presentation I need to um, uh, emphasize this that a certain character sequences beginning with backslash are replaced with a special character just like this one okay each character has its own purpose for example um, the slash n is to replace the br or to the new line character so for the T, it's for the tab. Um, for the dollar sign, it's, it will replace a dollar sign itself, right? And the variable names starting with dollar sign are replaced uh, with um, string representation of their values. Again, it depends on the quotation. So if it's single or um, double quotation, okay?